In Pakistan, our main initiative is innovation and in risk financing and, and risk assessment. What we're doing is working with very good technical experts and understanding the, the, the risks and creating consensus on that risk, the flood risk and the seismic risk in particular, because there's a wide variety of views within the government. After the 2005 earthquake, the bank started engaging much more vigorously with the government of Pakistan. Uh, in order to promote a much more proactive approach towards disaster risk management in the country. The team basically helped the government uh, create a national working group for risk assessments and this is a place where all of these various technical entities at the national and provincial levels come together to agree on a methodology, to agree on an approach on how is it that they want to take risk assessments. One of the important pillars of our whole strategy in Pakistan has been the approach towards understanding risk. And one of the ways uh, of doing that is to help identify the disaster risk environment uh, within the country. When we're seeking to understand disaster risk, we keep in mind the, the, the disaster risk equation, where risk is a function of the hazard, the exposure and the vulnerability. So the main areas that we're focused on physical risk, so risk to infrastructure, to houses, to people, is in seismic risk and in flood risk. So we've been pulling together the experts that exist across the different government agencies as well as in the academia and, and the private sector to start to work together to look at what exists in terms of data, who's done what, what are the different strengths of the different agencies, so that we can develop a plan that we all agree with to move forward. For the first time, the World Bank will be working with the government of Pakistan to do its own risk assessment. So rather than hiring a consultancy firm or an international firm to do a risk assessment, the government of Pakistan will be supported to do a risk assessment. And ultimately that's a more sustainable, efficient way to understand and manage risk going forward. But also if the information is produced by the government, by the academe, by the Pakistanis, then it's more likely to be used to inform decision making in Pakistan. So this is the, the, the physical risk side, but when you talk about uh, uh, risk assessment, there's also a fiscal part of it because whenever you have a disaster, these physical risks then translate into monetary losses. So we are working very closely with the Ministry of Finance to help identify what are these fiscal risks and liabilities that the government of Pakistan really faces. In Pakistan, there's a National Disaster Management Authority which is present at the federal level. Uh, and there are provincial disaster management authorities in each provinces. Uh, and then at the district level, you've got district disaster management agencies. So the bank has been engaging uh, at all of these various tiers to, to help uh, build the capacity of these nascent institutions. So in July, we had a series of four training workshops for uh, experts from Pakistan. There was one on understanding seismic risk and, and how you model seismic risk on flood risk, how you develop exposure and vulnerability information. So at provincial and local levels, how do you collect the information on the location of the schools? Or does the information already exist and who has it? And then on how you measure the costs of disasters and systematically capture that data. I think the importance of the training workshops is a start of a conversation, a start of a dialogue that will allow people to say, actually, these are the areas that we need further training in. Pakistan has immense potential to understand and manage its risk. You can't overestimate the power of bringing different government agencies to work together, to leverage off each other's strengths. Everything's there, all of the puzzle pieces are there in Pakistan. This project's not about creating new puzzle pieces, it's about bringing them together.